after I left NASA, uh, one of my my personal uh, ambitions, and you know, my because of my Chinese heritage, I was very interested in trying to see if we could cooperate together and work together. And like I said, I thought it'd be a good thing for all of us if uh, the relationships between the two countries got better. So uh, I ended up being the first American and invited over to the Astronaut Center of China outside of Beijing and, um, you know, got to go over there and meet some of their senior people and, and meet their astronauts, including Yang Liwei and members of their second crew. And, and uh, that was really special. And over the years, paid several more visits over to the center and, uh, you know, participated in conferences and and uh, exchanges and met uh, Xi Zigong a few years later, uh, you know, the first spacewalker. And that was really special because that was my specialty too at NASA uh, as an astronaut was to put on the suit and go out and work outside and in space and help develop tools and construction techniques and then actually use that to help build the space station. So um, yeah, over the years, I, I really enjoyed a, a relationship with those folks. Uh, but in recent years that has waned, uh, not only because of US laws, but also because of the change in emphasis in China. So now it's much more difficult to make contact uh, with some of those people that I've, I've met over there. Uh, they're much less interested in, you know, kind of even communicating because everybody wants to make sure they stay on the right, right side of the leadership. And it's not always clear what the leadership wants.